Today, we're going to fix a cracked trace on an air conditioning heater control board for a York Lux Air system. So, unfortunately, I forgot to hit record in the beginning of this video. And I already removed the connector. But I put it back in place. It's the connector where my right thumb is. And I'll explain. I hit that with hot air really quick from the back of that connector so that, that that connector would come out quickly and not melt since it's plastic and also not damage the relays. So I didn't want to give the board time to actually heat up. So I kind of had the hot air setting on about 60% and probably 425 degrees Celsius. So one of the things about this board, you notice the shininess of the board and that's a conformal coating and again, I already did part of it, forgot to hit the record. So, but I'm still showing you, and I got that part finished on it. And I started scraping that conformal coating off the traces. Kind of really makes it a tough repair just to get that conformal coating off. So that's the first thing you got to do is remove it on all those connections. And there you go, you can see the crack. So what we have to do in this case, since that and that connector was wiggling when I got it, so that caused the traces to pull off there. So the pads pulled off because that connector was unstable. So what we're going to do in this case, we're going to repair this board by gluing that connector in and resoldering it in and patching up those traces that were damaged. So in this case, I'm going to finish up I'm just finishing up cleaning it because so the traces have to be absolutely clean. And I'll, I'll point out that I'm using lead solder in this because it has a lower melting point and it's easier to work with. So this is, I'm just showing you what I did before. Just hit it with that hot air gun really quick. Pop that connector out while the solder was still wet. It's a shame that the tech did this and this was a brand new board. So the board's working other than this crack. Just a really bad design. You can see that notch where the connector is. That's just some weird way how they engineered it. For some reason, they put a notch in it. And I'm just showing here that I'm using lead-based solder. Even to remove that connector, you want to pre-coat the pins or you're going to remove it with lead-based solder so you can lower the melting point when you hit it with the hot air gun. Then it just comes right out. Real quick, hit it with that hot air gun, and it's right out. So like I said, that was already done, the connector removal. That's why the connector just pulled right out. But as you can see, there's that notch where the connector is just weakening that whole board. So you can see if someone presses in that area to snap the board in, then that would easily crack. Very easy to mistake to happen there because of that notched out area. Again, why they have it that way, I have no clue. I'm sure there's a reason for it. But anyway, now we gotta fix it. So I'm gonna use five minute epoxy to glue the connector back in. Because that connector is going to need stability. That's going to need to be glued back in. I'm just going to coat around the pins. not to Trying not to get any actually in the holes or the pins. I'll coat the board just because it's easier. So I'm going to mix up the epoxy in a second. Just put it there in between those 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 connect the holes and get the connector glued in. Poxy mixed and ready to go. As I'm putting it on, it's already drying. 
Five minute epoxy dries really quick. But that's a good thing because if you're repairing some boards, it's nice to have it dry quick and be done to repair quickly. Just, I'm dabbing it in not to be careful not to get it in the holes. I'm sure a little bit got in there anyway, but not a big deal. So I'm going to actually coat around the connector because even in just on the bottom alone, I don't know. I don't think it has enough support. And you have when you have it in a heater, that connector's you got a, probably a cord vibrating a lot. Believe that's the inducer connector, uh, but don't quote me on that. Regardless, the vibration in the heater needs to be anchored really well. That connector. I'd rather over anchor it than under anchor it. Since I have the epoxy mixed already, why not? While that epoxy's drying, I'm going to start preparing some Kynar wire. And you, as you can see, though, that connector, I got it all around. Just want to get it in really well. And then now I'll let it dry. There's the Kynar wire. I like the Kynar wire because it's pre tinned, so that's why it has a silver look to it. So it solders really easy. And that's about 22 gauge Kynar wire. And I'm sure you can get wire that's uh, pre-tinned. I just like the Kynar because you can use it also over circuit boards. Basically, it has like a, a PVC jacket on it. Really thin green jacket. It's easy to strip, just easy to work with. I just like it. So now it's time to repair these traces. Just cleaning the tip. And again, I'm using solder already with flux in it. So that's why I'm not putting flux on the traces. The solder already has the flux. Just going to get solder on each of the connect the pins on that connector. And now I'm going to work my way to get solder on the uh, traces. You see me really putting a lot of solder on it and heating it maybe a few times because I don't want a cold solder joint. So it's got to be a really good joint. Otherwise, it's just going to crack again where the connector is. And by the way, I'm using a fume extractor. Definitely don't want to be breathing, breathing in that flux, the fumes from that. It's not good for you. Use a fume extractor. Pretty much an absolute must. So I'm just going to wrap the wire around it. It looks like it's a pretty high current carrying plug. And again, that's about 22 gauge, that uh, Kynar wire. And you'd be surprised 22 gauge can have a decent amount of amperage on it. But I'm going through it twice here. Those two connectors, they're actually together. So I can easily just wrap it around like that.
And instead of having to cut the wire, a great trick that I'm going to show you next is to actually just pull the wire basically until it breaks off on its own. So now it's soldered in pretty good, anchored pretty good. Now I can just pull that wire there, move it around till that breaks off. Just a little bit of a time saver. Before I knew any better, I probably would have uh, cut it with, with snippers, but it required a lot more time. Doing a lot of boards and electronics, you get efficient. So as you can see, this is a pretty easy repair. Just gonna do the same thing for the other two connectors. They're not together. Again, I'm using that trick to wiggle it off. I guess you could say this is a kind of a boring repair, but this is the kind of things you actually run into real life. Most repairs are mostly boring. They're not crazy involved where you magically have to find capacitors and all. It's usually a broken connector, broken trace, stuff like that. So it's always good to see it. I'm just going to reheat it again. Like I said, I like to hit it up with a lot of solder. Really make sure that connection's good. I don't want any cold solder joints. A little carried away putting a lot of solder there but you know what you don't want a cold solder connection especially on something that's going to have that much amperage in it i'm going to clean it off now with a toothbrush to brush it off with and i 96 percent alcohol just the better alcohol that you can use any 92, 96, as long as it's over 90%. As you can see, the board's really cleaning up well. And there you have it. Since that connector was glued in and those solder connections are really on good now, better than new. So I'm just going to test it, just testing continuity to make sure that there's continuity that the leads actually are making contact. Never assume that the work's done until you test it. It's beeping now, but I actually re-edited this video so you don't hear it beeping. So that had con continuity, that had continuity, and that one had continuity. This connector's in really, really, really good. So now this board's better than new.